the path to producing North America's first purpose-built hydrogen fuel cell truck is becoming a reality for Nikola Motors. Yes, folks, Nikola's leading partner supplier by the name of Bosch Technologies has just announced a groundbreaking $2.5 billion investment into this technology to ramp up production in the hydrogen fuel cell electric market. This paired with the fact that Nikola also just secured a new customer to help offtake clean hydrogen and supply its hydrogen to customers is setting up a really strong groundwork for the mass production of its new fuel cell truck later this quarter. At the end of the day, the hydrogen ecosystem needs two parts to function properly. It needs the end technology, which is a fuel cell powertrain, and it needs the ecosystem around it to truly kick off adoption. And although a high-risk, treacherous, and expensive endeavor, Nikola is on track to be the first automaker on planet Earth to bring both of these sides together, with it being the official launch partner of Bosch's newly announced fuel cell power module. Whether you like it or not, hydrogen is going to play a key role in industrial decarbonization. And with the launch of a successful fuel cell product, not only will the cost of the technology potentially come down, but industrial and retail availability of hydrogen as a fuel could also skyrocket. So, how exactly does Nikola want to accomplish this, and what role will Bosch play in this overall venture? Well, those questions are exactly what I'm going to address in this video. But as usual, folks, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to start things off, folks, let's address the big news of the day, which is Bosch's $2.1 billion partnership to help accelerate their fuel cell business. At its Tech Day 2023, Bosch devoted its entire presentation to lay out its fuel cell plans for the very near future, going far and wide with a focus on green hydrogen. For those unfamiliar, Robert Bosch, which is a 120-year-old company, is one of the key industrial pioneers of sensor and automotive technology. These guys know everything when it comes to automotive control systems, sensors, data acquisition, and even mass production. Almost every single modern car or truck uses some sort of Bosch component, resulting in them realizing more than $50 billion in annual revenue through their automotive and tech businesses. This means there should be absolutely no surprise in Bosch's keen interest in increasing its investments in hydrogen and fuel cells, because obviously it wants to be the key innovator in this space, and it has more experience than any other automotive and technology company when it comes to mass-producing complex systems. As a matter of fact, Bosch increased its investments from $1 billion planned in 2020 to $2.5 billion. And it expects that fuel cell trucks will be one out of five of all trucks sold by 2030, meaning a potential 20% market adoption in Europe and North America. As a matter of fact, Bosch believes that the only way to achieve a climate neutral energy ecosystem is with the use of hydrogen for long duration energy storage. And if you do your research and even do the math, that makes complete sense. Because, as we all know, batteries are simply a way to store electrical energy in the form of chemical energy. But what we really need is a way to replace natural gas and fossil fuels in a one-to-one -one fashion. And hydrogen as a fuel, which is a component of natural gas and even hydrocarbons like gasoline or diesel, can help us achieve that. Because guess what? With hydrogen, you can make electric power with no combustion and no heat. All you need is a proton exchange membrane in a fuel cell, and you have electric power on demand just like an internal combustion engine. This results in insane flexibility and very high energy density for those applications where simply batteries can't make economic sense. And Bosch believes one of those markets happens to be long-haul trucking. And not only that, but Bosch is also the leading OEM supplier of the hybrid electric system for the LMDH category in the WEC. The World Endurance Championship is the pinnacle of endurance racing, 
and Bosch happens to be the supplier of not only the inverter, but the hybrid control unit, the battery systems, and in this case, also the electrical braking system. This gives Bosch unparalleled expertise and insight into what makes automotive technologies go, not only for the internal combustion engine side, but also for the next generation of e-mobility, which means their emphasis on hydrogen fuel cells is going to be ever more important. And that right there, folks, is exactly why Nikola partnered with Bosch. Their new fuel cell power module is officially starting production in the Coolidge, Arizona facility, right next to the production line of the heavy-duty fuel cell and battery electric trucks. Bosch gets the opportunity to bring its new fuel cell technology to market for the very first time, and Nikola gets the opportunity to integrate industry-leading technology into its fuel cell trucks and hydrogen supply strategy all with the goal of potentially resolving the hydrogen chicken and egg problem for electric mobility. And talking of hydrogen supply, well, that is exactly where Nikola's new partnership with Bayotech falls into place. Bayotech just happens to be one of the oldest players in the gas transport and logistics space in North America, which means they have good expertise when it comes to transporting volatile gases and even hazardous materials. With six new hydrogen refueling stations coming online in California over the next few years, you need the supply produced from clean hydrogen to be right there and then. And that is exactly where the logistics problem comes into play and where Biotech can help Nikola and its ambitions with fuel cells. Bulk hydrogen delivery is not really an easy problem to solve and it's going to take a lot of risk and a lot of cash from all these various stakeholders to help this supply chain. But with players like Bosch, Biotech, and Nikola who have been trying to save cash despite the macroeconomic situation we've experienced over the past year, chances are this reality could come sooner rather than later. So what do you guys think on this Bosch partnership? As usual folks, let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.